Hi everybody. Today I will discuss about functions. What is functions? Think for a while. One quantity depends on another. A relationship exists between two variables. For every value of the first, there is only one corresponding value of the second. So knowing up to this, can we say that the second variable is a function of the first variable? What we get through scientific observations and experimentations? Does those outcome give us a clear understanding that there are situations where the value of one variable is somehow linked to the value of another variable? So, as an example of function, we can say the temperature at which water boils depends on the elevation above sea level. Another example of function is that the area of a circle depends on the radius of the circle. Actually, in maths world, functions are considered as a tool for describing the real world in mathematical terms. A function can be represented by an equation or by a graph or by a numerical table or through a verbal description. As I told, area of a circle depends on radius of a circle. To get in depth of understanding, I am considering three circles. From equations of circle, we get the radius as 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Using the formula of area of circle a equal to pi r square, we get the area of circle as pi, 4 pi and 9 pi respectively. Graphs at right hand side, we can see the size of circle increases, I mean area increases as radius increases. So we can say that a is the function of R and we can write symbolically as A equal to FR. The value of one variable quantity say Y depends on the value of another variable quantity which we might call X. We can say that Y is a function of X and we can write this symbolically as y equal to fx. In this notation, the symbol f represents the function. The letter x is the independent variable representing the input value of f and y is the dependent variable or output value of f at x. Right hand side diagram, it is showing input machine and output. It's helpful to think of a function as a machine. As we know, the pre-programmed functions in a calculator are good example of a function as a machine. If x is in the domain of the function f, then when enters the machine, it is accepted as an input and the machine produces an output according to the rule of function. Thus, we can think of the domain as the set of all possible inputs and the range as the set of all possible outputs. Domain and range of a functions. To keep in our mind is that the domain is the set of all possible inputs and the range is the set of all possible outputs. Here it is a graph of y equal to function of x and this graph of a function f gives us a useful picture of the behavior or in other way I can say the life history of a function. Since the y coordinate of any point x y on the graph is y equal to function of x, we can read the value of fx from the graph as being the height of the graph above the point x. The graph of f also allows us to picture the domain of f on the x-axis 
and its range on the y-axis as in this figure we can see that if a is in the domain of the function and then vertical line x equal to a will intersect the graph of f at the single point a f a here y equal to f a we can see it here in instead x1 I considered here a now we can verify the natural domains and associated ranges of some simple functions the domain in each case are the value of x for which the formula makes a sense of good understanding for y equal to function of x equal to x square plus 2 it is defined for all real numbers so its domain is all real number of x as x square is never negative and x square plus 2 is never less than 2 if we put value of x is 0 so the range is all real number and it is fx greater than equal to 2 the formula y equal to x square gives a real y value for any real number x. So the domain is minus infinity and plus infinity. The range of y equal to x square is 0 and plus infinity. Because the square of any real number is non-negative and every non-negative number y is the square of its own square root the third formula y equal to square root of x it gives a real y value only if x greater than equal to zero this is very important points the range of y equal to square root of x is 0 and infinity because every non-negative number is some numbers square root does an equation define a function the idea behind a function is its predictability if the input is known, we can use the function to determine the output. With non-functions, we don't have this predictability. To determine whether an equation where y depends on x is a function, it is often easiest to solve the equation for y if any value of x in the domain corresponds to more than one value the equation does not define a function otherwise it does define a function here our first equation tells us to take an input x it has power 2 we can see it here and then add 2 for any input x this operation yields only one output y so the equation is a function for example in first equation if x equal to 2 then y equal to 6 for second equation if x equal to 2 then y equal to 4 third equation if x equal to 4 then y equal to 2 so we can conclude that for an input x all operations yield only one output y so these equations are a function graph of three equations are shown at right hand side table of functions domains and associate range of these three equations are kept at the bottom of graph to compare with corresponding graphs vertical line test to define a graph of function
as we know not all curve in the xy plane is the graph of function no vertical line can intersect the graph of function more than once if a function can have only one value for each x in its domain here i have a function y equal to x cube plus 1 in the graph we can see there is a red line it is red vertical line it intersects the graph at one points so it is a graph of function but the parabola x equal to y square is not the graph of function of x because we can see the blue vertical line it intersects the parabola in two points because y equal to square root of 4 equal to plus minus 2 more than one value but the parabola does contain the graph of two function of x we can notice that the equations x equal to y square implies y square equal to x so we can write y equal to plus minus square root of x hence the upper and lower half of the parabola are the graphs of function and we can write it as like function of x equal to square root of x another gx equal to minus square root of x that's all for this posting a variety of important types of function are frequently encountered in calculus i shall try my best to identify and briefly describe those in next posting i hope this posting will give confidence in problem solving and reasoning abilities in calculus thank you very much and thanks for watching